and one. Keep a bend in your left knee. Bring your right hand to your left hip crease, if you can get it there, drawing the shoulder open. And now left hand reaches up to the sky. Create more space, open up high. Breathe into that side body. See if you can ground that left hip down. Draw the navel in towards the midline. Feel a lift of the spine. Deep inhale. As you exhale, straighten the left leg. Release your right hand to your right shin and see if you can create even more space through your side body. Make the fingertips of the right hand light. Use your core. Open up your side body. Take a deep inhale, a little bit more. As you exhale, come back through center. Arms parallel the earth. Inhale forward. Find your triangle pose. Place your gaze up at the right fingertips. Your left hand can come onto your left shin or the fingertips can come down to the ground. Really open up your right shoulder. Feel the draw of the shoulder blades down and back as you broaden your collarbones and create more space for your breath. Three more deep breaths. Two. And one, right hand reaches forward. As you pivot onto the ball of your back foot, look forward, breathe forward, put a bend in your left knee and come into your standing split. Right leg reaches up to the sky. As you exhale, bend your right knee and bring your right knee to tap on the outside of your left ankle, tapping down, little Shiva squat. Inhale, reach up, exhale, tap it down. Inhale, reach up, exhale, tap it down. Last five. Finish strong. Four. Three. Two. And one. Go ahead and put a bend in your left knee. Step the right foot back. Inhale, rise up to crescent pose. One deep breath. Lift the heart up. Take your time. Utilize your breath. Calm your mind. Exhale, both hands come down to the mat. Step the left foot back. Lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up to your up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe into the body. Coming back to that breath. Nice deep inhale. Right leg reaches up to the sky. Step the right foot in between the hands. Plant your back heel down. Utilize the breath and bring your right hand to your right hip. Draw the right hip down. Really feel the alignment as you come into that sacred geometry that is your body. Left hand extends forward. Feel the right hip root down. Bring both hands forward. All right, so the back heel is down so that you have even more space through your left psoas. Extending the fingertips forward. Take a deep inhale. Rise up to your warrior one. Utilize the breath. Create more space. A little smile on your face. Life is good. We're practicing yoga. <laughs> Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, draw the hands to heart center. Mm. Open it out. Warrior two. Find a new view. Place your gaze over those fingertips. Draw the navel in towards the midline. Nice deep inhale to lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, straighten the right leg. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend, exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend, exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Really create as much space as you can all the way up your spine, root the tailbone in, find your midline, bring your left hand to your right hip crease. Encourage the hip crease down, right hand reaches up, lift up, breathe up, reverse your warrior. Create as much space as you can through your side body. Dive deeper into your inhales, lengthen your exhales. Put a little smile on, life is good. We're opening up into new space so that we can be open to receive that which is our truest heart's intention. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, gently straighten, release the left hand onto the left shin. Make the fingertips light. Use your core to shine into your heart forever bright. Last two deep breaths. And one, inhale brings you back through center. 
Open up the palms, really create space. Now move into your triangle pose with a deeper awareness of that space that we've created. Maybe the fingertips come down to the ground. Perhaps your gaze comes up to the left thumb. Reminding ourselves that all of these postures are just like expressions of life putting us through different twists, different turns, different ups, different downs, while we still are here with tranquility, equanimity, and the power of our breath. Slow down the breath, in and out through the nose. Deep inhale here, left hand reaches forward, pivot onto the ball of your back foot. So you glance forward, put a bend in your right knee, come into your standing split, left leg reaches up to the sky. As you exhale, bend your right knee and bring the left knee to the outside of the right ankle, tap, inhale up, exhale, tap, inhale up, last seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and step that left foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, rise up to your crescent pose. Breathe up, lengthen up. Feel the length in the heart. Create even more space. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step the right foot back. Lower all the way down onto your belly. Ah, take a nice little rest. Maybe your left ear comes onto your hands. And feel your connection with the earth. Feel your connection with your inner self-worth. Just be compassionate with yourself. Slow down the breath. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, let it come out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale. Exhale, slow it down. Inhale. Exhale, slow it down. As you inhale, chest lifts up. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders, spread through your fingertips, come into a sphinx pose, lift your heart forward. Take some gentle circles into your shoulders. Creating more awareness through the shoulder girdle. Go ahead and opposite the rotation, big circles in the opposite direction. Awesome, now go ahead and bring your right hand over towards your left elbow. Maybe you even grab the left wrist. We're gonna actually place the right hand down anyway. And the left hand's gonna reach back for the left foot. You can grab the left foot, awesome. If you can't, you can grab a rag or a shirt and wrap it around that left foot or a strap if you have one. If you're feeling adventurous, you pull that left heel towards your left glute. If you're feeling even more adventurous, you can wrap the fingers around, press the left heel down and begin to gently move into the quadricep, bringing your breath even more into the quadricep, thinking of lifting the back knee. So instead of the knee pressing down, the thigh is pressing down. Yep, so press the pelvis down, lift the chest, use your breath. Last three, two, and one. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, release the foot. Both hands come forward, bring the feet together. Make sure that you have space for your pelvis, lift the heart up. Left hand comes across the front of the mat, parallel to the front of the mat. Right hand reaches back, to grab the right foot, lift the chest. Bring the right heel in towards you. If you can, maybe you can flip those fingertips and take a new view. As you open up, create more space in the chest, 
and the hips and the quadricep and the hip flexor. Last three deep breaths. On your next exhale, gently release. Press into your palms. Press into your hands, spread through your fingertips and lift your chest up. See if you can draw your navel in. Maybe you can walk your hands in a little bit more. Draw the shoulder blades back. Maybe you can walk your hands back a little bit more. Draw the shoulder blades back. Lift your lower belly up off of the floor. Open your heart. Look up, breathe up, lengthen up. Open your chin. Use this as an opportune time to let spirit seep in to each and every cell of you. Open your heart. Deep inhale. Exhale, lower down. Mm. Allow your chin to rest onto the mat. Then tuck your chin so just your third eye and the bridge of your nose are on the mat. Go ahead and allow your palms to rest, palm face open, and draw the heels towards your glutes. Reach back. Maybe you can grab your right foot and then your left. Take a deep inhale here. Bring the knees together. Bring the ankles together. And now as you exhale, kick into your feet, lift your head, lift your knees, breathe up, kick into your feet, lift your head, lift your knees, breathe up, kick into your feet, lift your head, lift your knees, breathe up, smile, three more deep breaths. Yeah, there we go. Two and one, gentle release. Relax your right ear down onto the mat. Give yourself five deep breaths. Feel the connection of your heart to that which is the earth. Slow down the breath. Deep inhale. Exhale. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale through the nostrils. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Deep inhale through the nostrils. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Inhale, look forward. Plant your palms down. Allow your hips to come towards your heels as you come into a child's pose. Bringing the palms together. Relax the bridge of the nose. See if you can quiet your mind. Release and relax into the length of your spine. Nice, deep inhale, look in between the hands. Go ahead and shift your hips forward. Swivel onto your left or your right side and extend both feet forward. Give yourself some space here, releasing the glutes so that you can feel your sit bones ground into the ground. Press your heels down, open up your toes. Deep inhale as you lift up into Dandasana pose. Place the palms next to your hips. Draw the shoulder blades onto the back body lift all the way to the crown of the head. So this is a prime opportune time to fill your lungs with fresh breath. Three more deep breaths. Allow the heart to lift, allow the spine to lengthen. Deep inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Draw the elbows down towards the mat. Relax your head and your neck. 
See if you can lengthen all the way from the lower back. Creating even more space. Last two deep breaths. Inhale, rise up. Go ahead and place a bend in both knees as you draw your hips towards your heels. Bring your hands onto your knees. And go ahead and roll onto your back body. Give yourself some big rolls up and down the spine. Maybe you can rock yourself in a circle to the right. Opening up your toes, breathing in and out through your nose. Maybe you rock yourself to a circle to the left. Yeah, being like a little kid again, discovering how the body moves, how we can create more space up and down the spine, discovering what it feels like to be intertwined with the natural intelligence of life. Go ahead and draw your left knee in, extend your right leg out. Take some gentle circles into your left hip. Gentle circles into your left ankle, releasing any unnecessary tension, any stagnation, opposite the rotation. Nice deep inhale here. As the right knee comes over to the, sorry, the left knee comes over to the right side body, extend your left hand out and look towards your left thumb. Nice, gentle supine twist. Slow it down. If your mind begins to wander, come back to the awareness of the body. Your body begins to fidget, come back to the ease of your breath. Five more deep inhales, long exhales. Gentle inhale brings you back through center. Go ahead and draw the left and the right knee into your chest. Give yourself some gentle circles up and down the spine. Draw the right knee in, extend the left leg out. Breathe deep inhales and exhales into that right hip. Opposite the rotation. Breathe into a deeper relationship of your body, your brain, and your breath. Draw the right knee over to the left side body. Extend your right hand out and look towards your right thumb.
Nice deep inhale brings you back through center. You draw both knees into the chest. Give yourself gentle swivel side to side or up and down. Whatever feels best for you. Just taking your time to release any excess energy. To let go of any nervous energy. To let go of anything that doesn't serve you. So you can be clean and clear as you tap into your Shavasana. Gently bring your hands to the soles of the feet, coming into a happy baby. Release the neck, release the shoulders. Allow the shoulder blades to draw down and back. As you lengthen your lower back onto the mat, draw your navel in towards your midline. Breathing into the optimized length of the spine with your breath. Take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, flutter the lips. Deep inhale. Exhale, flutter the lips. Deep inhale. Exhale, flutter the lips. This time, release the hands from the feet. Shake out the arms and the legs. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Shake out any false energy, any stagnation any limitations, let it go, let it go, it's not yours, take a deep inhale in, breathe in all the abundance, all the prosperity, all the health, the happiness, the love, the joy, deep inhale all the way to the tops of the lungs, hold it, sip in one more sip of air, shake it out, exhale, release, <sighs> Allowing yourself to feel the tingling sensations as fresh energy moves through each and every cell of you. As you find the balance that is your inhale and your exhale, your body and your brain. all coming to a space of stillness.
On your next inhale, gently bring some movement into your toes. On your next exhale, bring that energy all the way up from your toes to the tops of the crown of the head. Spread through your fingertips, take a deep inhale, reach the hands up overhead. Breathe all the way into your body. Gently roll onto whichever side of your body is most open, allowing the knees to draw into the chest. Allow your bicep to be like a pillow. And on your next inhale, gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat where the spine can be upright. And as you arrive at the spine that is upright, allow your heart to lift into the length of the spine. You draw your hands to heart center, bowing your chin to your chest, bowing your brain to your body, bowing your brilliance 
to that, which is your benevolence, your intellect to your intuition. Take a deep inhale in, reminding yourself of that intention that you set at the beginning of class. Take a deep inhale into the tops of your lungs. Prepare for Om. Inhale, hands reach up, lift up, lengthen up. As you exhale, draw the hands to the third eye to see with clarity. Hands to the mouth to speak only words of truth. And hands to your heart to be forever connected to your intrinsic youth. That which is your joy, your love, your bliss. That which connects you with intention and presence in moments like this. Wholeness. <laughs> yes it's another one <laughs> wow family as we take a moment to center ourselves into the space just giving thanks just giving thanks to this wonderful gift that we've been given in life to have the presence of each other in this world in this existence and to be able to shine the light and if you want to be inspired today to do something amazing this is another this is another reason if our brother wasn't here doing something amazing we wouldn't have this gift and so too if you don't go forward today and do something amazing someone we've missing the gift from you mm. yeah and as we breathe through it all, I'm sure you may have heard the neighbor decided that he wanted to do the lawn and that's just keeping it all balanced. <laughs> <laughs> keeping that yin with the yang. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna take a moment to just ask anybody if they're actually on the line and they need any um, inspiration or have any questions or comments in relation to the practice of yoga and to centering into oneself on this path of enlightenment mm -hmm. and uh so i'll take the time for that and uh just give me one second i know our uh, our sound needs to be readjusted here so let me just do that i'll see you again i gotta jump into me Eating right now, but I'm pretty sure that Savannah and I will organize a really awesome opportunity for us all to connect and to continue to dive deep into this practice. And I'm really excited to have the opportunity to share with you every day. So much love to you. You super stoked to <laughs> present to you the planetary yoga that we've been working on as well. The enneology yoga is going to yes. be the next level. <laughs> super excited. So blessings, much love. Continue to rise above. We're in this together. Thank you. Let me let everybody talk because I know that the unmute lines. I want to give that give Andrew that uh, wholeness and salute from the tribe. You can now unmute your lines now. Thank you. Wholeness. Wholeness, Andrew. 